Welcome back, Aggies, to another episode of In the Huddle. Men's basketball kicks off their season, and women's basketball adds a familiar face to the roster. I'm Jacob Russell. And I'm Michael Faget. These stories with news on the Armchair Aggies and an interview with Coach Wade Alexander are coming up next. Let's go In the Huddle. kicked off their season last week against the University of North Texas in an exhibition matchup. The team lost 80-62. to They led the Mean Green, however, early but were unable to hold on. Junior Jaquez Williams led the team with 18 points and three steals. Head coach Wade Alexander talked about how Williams should be a consistent contributor for the team. Uh, Jaquez Williams is, is going to be solid for us. Uh, as a freshman in the national tournament, he hit 10 threes, so uh, he's very similar to Dave Smith in a way in that area. Junior Donato Island added 13 points and forward Nate Murray had 10 points and 6 boards off of the bench. The team officially starts the season on the 19th at Oklahoma Panhandle State. Sophomore forward Venetius Taylor is out for the season. The transfer from Oklahoma City University injured his Achilles tendon. Junior guard Donovan Jones is also out with a meniscus injury but is expected to return in a few weeks. Coach Alexander said he was relieved the injuries happened sooner than later. It's better to do it now than in the middle of the season when we're counting on him. So we've got time to make adjustments. Women's basketball played TCU in Fort Worth last week. They lost against the Horned Frogs 104-47. to Junior guard Josie Stewart led the way with 19 points. Senior guard Tara Tremaine added 9 points and 8 boards. The team starts its schedule on the 17th at Newman University. The women's basketball team added a familiar face to the roster. Senior post Amber Schroer joined the team after playing volleyball earlier this season. With injuries to post Kelly Wyrick and Kelsey West, Schroer adds some size and skill to the team. Head coach Tom Webb and Schroer talked about her return to the court. Anytime you can add experience inside, even to help those kids grow daily in practice is a huge deal. But Amber, if that happened, it would be a great, uh, great thing for Cameron to see a two-sport athlete. I would be able to bring some leadership into it and help the younger girls out a little bit and hopefully just still play my same position and be able to help us out there too. The Kalafa, Julius Career, and Josh Stewart were all named the Aggies of the Week last week. The cross country trio served as the top runners for the team throughout the season and were named to the Lone Star Conference All Conference team. To watch an interview with each of the runners, go to goaggies.cameron.com. Edu and click to the link of the Aggie of the Week. In the Huddle congratulates those runners on earning this recognition. The volleyball team earned conference honors last week. Seniors Lindsey Pazook, Laura Ellibrock, and sophomore Nikki Abbott was named to the Lone Star Conference All-Conference Second Team. The two-sport athlete Amber Schroer was named honorable mention for the All-Academic Team. The volleyball team ended their season 17-12, a three-game improvement from last year. The Armchair Aggies went on assignment again last week. After playing against the volleyball team, the Armchair Aggies went to the diamond against the softball team. And the huddle was there to see how it all went down. Uh, well, I'm actually not too nervous, but uh, not because I think I'm going to do really well. Harvey was given time to warm up. Then it was time for the showdown. As Dewan stepped up to the plate, he began to show just how nervous he really was. Just stay out of the way of the ball. Just, uh... Right now, it's just see the pitch, don't get fooled by an off-speed pitch and spin around a couple times. So. Nobody's surprised. Harvey handled Dewan throughout the at-bats as he could only manage a couple of foul balls, proving once again the legitimacy of our athletes here at Cameron University. And after Bennett got done playing softball this time and taking pitches from Kerry Harvey, he had the same feelings towards the volleyball team. They play well as a team. It was a lot more than he expected, and he thinks he bit off more than he can chew. Tune in next week for the installments on cheerleading and maybe a little bit of women's basketball. Men's basketball is in full swing. After a winning season and the trip to the playoffs last year, expectations are high for this year's team. In the huddle talk with head coach Wade Alexander about the season and the potential success the team can have. Coach, you have 11 new players. 
uh, the brand new roster. What has been some of the strengths of the team this year? Well, we've got some athleticism and the guys play hard. With those two things, we can make up for a, a lot of deficiencies we may have. Um, we've had some injuries, so right now we're just trying to figure out what our overall team strength is. Obviously, there have been some weaknesses. What have those been? What improvements do you see the team making as the season progresses? Well, as of right now, we just don't have a, a leader uh, scoring-wise. We don't know who our go-to guy is. Last year, we knew who that was. Uh, and it just takes some time. Um, we're going to have to get some games our, under our belt and figure that out. A lot of talk of how good this team will be this year. Where do you see the team potentially going as far as LSC playoffs? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. The only thing I can, I can really speculate on is we're going to play hard, that's for sure. Uh, our conference is tough. There's been teams that's been picked last that's won it over the past couple of years. There's been teams that's been picked first and finished last. So. It can, you can be anywhere in between, and uh, hopefully we'll continue our, our conference uh, playoff streak. Injuries to Vinicius Tello, what are your thoughts? How does it hurt the team? What progress or what uh, adjustments will you make as far as that's concerned? It, he was very versatile, and, and also we've got Donovan Jones out with a meniscus uh, injury, and so that just puts us a little thin on our guards right now. We're having to rely on uh, some freshmen to, uh, you know, be backups. And and early in the year like that, that's not always good just because they are freshmen. They're still trying to figure everything out. Um, so we're a little thin in that area. It's going to hurt for uh, uh, probably a couple weeks until we get Donovan back, and then we're kind of full strength in that area at least a little bit. But. Uh, it's better to do it now than in the middle of the season when we're counting on him. So we've got time to make adjustments. Men's basketball finally has a game under their belt. A couple injuries to Donovan Jones and Taylor. But it's going to be interesting to see how the season progresses. Yeah, but uh, I totally agree with Wade Alexander. I and mean, He'd rather have the injuries early rather than late. At least early you can still come together as a team and you can play without them and learn to do that throughout the season rather than scramble and have to finish out the season on, on a weaker note. Now, they had a tough loss against North Texas, although it was D1 talent. They lost 80-62. to 62. Um, Lost a rebounding battle, which was kind of one of the things Coach Alexander talked about early in the season. Yeah, they lost, but uh, like you said, it's it's against a superior opponent. Um, it's nothing like last year when they played OU and went up to Norman and lost 94-54, to 54, something like that. Uh, they played Mean Green very tough, and like we said, they actually led. But, uh, you know, it's only going to make them better. It's only going to make them stronger. And rebounding is still going to be a very pivotal and important statistic for this men's team throughout the season. Definitely. Let's take a look at the schedule for this week. Women's basketball heads to Newman University to compete against them on the 17th. Basketball heads on the road to play Oklahoma Panhandle State on the 19th. Sophomore Julius Career will represent the black and gold at the NCAA D2 National Championships on the 21st. Few events happening in uh, the sports season now, women's basketball starting their season, and also Julius Career heading to nationals for cross country. Huge news. Um, very electric runner. He's been able to do a lot of things, and we've heard nothing but good news coming from the cross country camps around, about this young man. And uh, I know Matt Aguero, has, the head coach, has a huge amount of confidence in him. And, and what he's been able to do for the program. So uh, we send the best of luck, and I think he's going to be able to make some noise. Definitely make some noise for the black and gold. That concludes another episode of In the Huddle. To review this episode, go to YouTube.com and type in CU Internet TV with no spaces. You will also find the latest episodes of This Week in SGA and Top of the Hour. For more sports news and stats, visit Cameron's athletic website, goaggies.cameron.edu. Check out the latest in Aggie sports and watch Coach Webb's all access show. We want to give special thanks to Sports Information Director Craig Martin for his help in making In the Huddle the show for Cameron Sports. And once again, we'd also like to thank the CU TV crew for their help in making this show possible. So for everybody in the CU TV studio, I'm Jacob Russell. And I'm Michael Faget. We'll see you in the huddle. <laughs>